Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194, and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to visit and check out my video. And we're here at Monza. I haven't been here in a little while. And again, updating uh, a setup for the Aston Martin uh, V8 GT3 car. And I think I got a really good setup. It's a pretty big improvement um, in performance and um, I think consistency over the 30-minute stint. And again, you know, did a, I did the... Uh, 30 minute hot stint to test it to make sure you know checking tires and um you know see how much it changes uh during the stint and things like that and it's a, it's a really solid setup and definitely uh formidable that's for sure um so let's just make a couple laps and of course i'll go over the setup uh show it at the end and i will put a link to the setup in the description and of course i'll have a uh, i have a paypal link that's in the description also um, if you want to help support the channel and to thank you so much to everybody that has um, it makes a you know a big difference and it really helps any little bit no matter what it is it, I just say thank you to everyone and uh, so let's jump in the car I say we'll make this a couple laps this car is definitely tough here Found some more performance in it. I mean, I used to struggle with the Aston Martin here, but um, see there, it's a 148.71 is was the last lap, and that was my best. That's you know for me, that's pretty good. You know, again, starting with 80 liters, and of course, you know, I'm not drafting. You know, my temperatures are always in the mid 20s. Um, you know, no wind, but of course, you know, obviously here you can pick up a ton just by you know when you're racing and drafting with someone. So. Um, you know, obviously I don't have that. You gotta take the, these two turns a little bit later than normal. Like, past the normal marks just a little bit. Kind of like a late apex. It seems to work better with the Aston Martin. And if you turn in early, it just messes it all up. That was a 148.88. Most of my laps were in the 148s, which I'm really happy with. It's decent for me. Uh, again, especially with you know race fuel load and no drafting. Great looking car, Aston Martin, definitely looks good and sounds good and does the does it definitely checks all the boxes that's for sure you can run over that little bump there or you know curb on the end just try not to hit it super hard but I went over it a few times, you know, a few times, it's no problem. I said it, it takes the, you know, take some of these okay, you just can't just really hit and hammer it. You just, if you just graze it or hit it a little bit, it's fine.
and that was my fast lap at a 148.56. And again, that's you know that's decent for me in this you know in this environment. So let's go look at the timetables. And I didn't have any outs. Um, there's like a tenth of a second right here in this third sector, so I, I could have ran a 48. Four something, point four something. So again, I mean, very respectable for me. Um, all, I mean, almost all 48s, a few 49s thrown in there near the end. It started to slow down a little bit, but it wasn't real bad. Um, some of them were just my mistake. Um, again, you just got to kind of change with the car a little bit as it changes. Um, and I did dial in a little bit more rear brake, and it was fine. And I could have been probably more aggressive with that, but I didn't want to go crazy with it. I just wanted to, you know, just a little bit and see how it helped and things like that or didn't help. But, uh, the, you know, the last lap was a 148.94. I mean, that's not, I mean, that's, you know, you're only talking four tenths from the fast lap to the last lap. So, really, that's not that bad to me um, from, you know, from the last lap to the fast lap. So, in the 30-minute stint. So, really happy with that. So, let's go ahead and go over the setup. I got 25.9 left front and left rear, 27.2 right front and 26.7 right rear. The toe is negative 0.02 on the front with the camber at negative 3.2 on the left front and negative 3.4 on the right front. The caster is 13.4. The toe on the rear is 0.04 with the camber at negative 3 on the left rear and negative 3.1 on the right rear. Electronics are 2, 4, and 2. Fuel, of course, I always, you know, these, uh, all these setups, I always do starting out with 80 liters. And the number one, uh, of course, I had number one brake pads. And oh, I had light graining on the front. That was it after the 30 minutes. But look at the wear on the load side, especially on the left side where a lot of load is. It's at dead even. I mean, it's it's as close as you're ever going to get. I mean, I really like that, and that's why you can really, you know, something like that, you can, um, it might slide a little, or it might the braking might change, or things like that, but the car does it evenly, and you don't get a lot of uh, understeer, oversteer, oversteer type things, which I really like. So, I was really happy with that, and, uh, I, you know, shows it would be really good for a long run. Um, let's go to the mechanical. Got five on the anti roll bar, 61 on the brake bias. Of course, steering ratio is turned all the way down. I did turn this down to 60, excuse me, under my brake bias. So that's as far as I went down. You could probably be more aggressive than that a little bit, but I know it's all it's very good all the way down to 60. Uh, the springs were 165,000 with a bump stop rate of 900 and a bump stop range of one on the left front and five on the right front. That's the bump stop range. Uh, the rear, the springs were 155,000 with a bump stop rate of 700 and a bump stop range of 15 on the left rear and a bump stop range of 30 on the right rear. Any roll bar is 3. Preload on the diff is 50. Shocks on the front are 20, 14, 26, and 25. And on the rear, they're 18, 14, 21, and 23. Arrow, I have 56 in the front with a 61 rear, a number 1 rear wing, and a 3, and a 3, and a brake ducts. So, um, you know, as far as the wing, I mean, really, you go down, if you went down to zero, you know, you might gain a mile an hour or something, but it's, it's very little, but, you know, it hurts in a lot of the other sections and on your braking, so really, you know, having just a one rear wing seemed a really good balance. You're still doing 100, and I was doing 170 before I hit the brake, so that's still very, very, you know, very good. So, again, it's a, just a good overall package, and I sure hope you like it. And uh, you run some good personal best times and things like that with it. And, of course, uh, like I said, I'll leave the link uh, down in the description. And any comment or feedback is always welcome. I always enjoy uh, talking to everybody and uh, talking to all my friends. And, uh, I mean, if I don't get back to you right away, I will get back to you sooner. You know, this might be a little bit later, but I will get back to you. And, uh, and uh, of course, my email is also in the description. And I sure hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to help with the, my channel, to support the channel and all that YouTube stuff. But I would really appreciate it. And I hope you come back and visit again really soon. Y'all take care. See you.